So uh, welcome back to more Train Sim World gameplay. We're in gameplay number five now. Uh, I thought we'd come back with uh, another gameplay of Train Sim once again, uh, but not on the Great Western Express this time. Um, we're going to get a wee try with Rapid Transit now for the first time. Going to head on to Germany um, um, from from the from the UK to Germany. So we're going to hop on to Rapid Transit now, which is a uh, a German route. It's pretty much the S bahn route we're doing. Uh, so you can see. So rapid transit brings to life uh, the experience of driving mass transit commuter passenger trains on one of Germany's most popular S bahn railways. Take control of the streak via DBBR 1442 Talent 2 and transport passengers on the S bahn S2 line through the historic and picturesque city of N. Leipzig. So yeah, pretty much in Germany. It's like um, it's like on the road a little bit, and you know, driving all the trucks to Weizsäck, and we're doing it on a train this time around. It's not, not obviously not OTRs, you know. So we're going to do, we're going to end up in a, a scenario. Um, so yeah, I've not done any so far. So we've got five of them to pick. So we've got rapid transit, metropolitan. This is kind of like UK a little bit almost, but it's just not northbound. Ripsticker and cross town. So all these are mostly 45 minutes. Uh, apart from northbound, 30 minutes. So I think we'll help on the first then um, first one. This is the self titled route, pretty much under its under its own name. So let's do this one. Let's help on this one. Uh, uh, so yeah. So we'll just nip it this one now. Yeah. Uh, so. I yeah, hope you guys are doing really well. Hope you're enjoying what I've been bringing you. Bit train sim world to the channel compared of the the trucking and you know the bus simulation. But this is back in Germany once again, so you probably think I'm playing these German simulation games. It's exactly what it says. It's another German route. So looks like we're just waiting for this train. Possibly we don't know what the what this one's like actually. Kind of board sitting in the driver's seat of the train. I could train this street, this train as compared to what we we're driving before the 166. We we're driving that before, and that's so we we're driving something proper, modern, space as we can, and just very, very fancy we can train. So, that's kind of boards. Uh, this is obviously DV as well. Uh, kind of boards. I should get myself in the board. Fancy chain this as a uh, sit in the seat. Uh, so what I do is unlock the doors. Let's do that right now. Uh, of course, you've got your beeps going off. Let's have a look. Well, let's have a wee quick nosy around the train. This train's vehicle. Oh, passengers. The spawn in right in front of me. No, so fancy chain. You're not allowed to bring your bike and luggage on this train apparently. Apparently it's a fancy train, but you're not allowed to take all your bicycles and dry goods. Save all space. Uh, so this is open gangway, very, very, very fancy. So like, it's articulated as well, so it reminds me of almost like, um, almost like a, um, did you call them again? I know what the trains are, but I'm trying to figure out what the names are. The Swiss trains. And Salda. They're called then. Um, I think they're called and um, they even call Fritz, I guess. But I don't know what is that name of they are called. An AI train put on in, same chain. So this thing's proper fancy. Computer screams. Just need to wait a wee moment here. We're still quite early. So let's try and also we could do some uh, external shots again with the train. Um, what I could also do is make sure everything's all set as well. Reverser, that's in neutral. Let's put that to forward. Check the trains all sound. So the headlights on as well. I don't know what being on. Uh, dim beam probably set to there. Uh, what else do we need? I could just get the doors shut very soon actually if I had to. Get the beefers. So yeah, look at this train, this train is so fancy. Yeah. 
Yeah, the one six set so down before was completely different. The German. Uh, so what the what the, the train does and you do this aren't we? Uh, that's done. Uh, so I think we're ready. Where do you go? It's this Matt's bottle. Let's get some tones. There's the horns. Going up to 31 though, it's soon last thing. It's slow down already. Don't go too fast. Going up to 31, yeah, I think. It's going up to 37. I've got a bit more of the HUD on as well, so you can see the speed bump, speed bump as and stuff like that now, it's all showing up. Up to 35, 40. You can see the racing this thing is. <laughs> slow down already. So slow down. So this thing looks like it uses, this is like throttle brake, so it also uses throttle brake in a wee when you're breaking this train up. We've not got very far. Let's bring it up to 75 for a wee bit. You know, the next season is actually coming up right now, so we're probably not going to get very far. This is like a stopping service, so we're probably just going to be around the, around the corner of our next station. So it's just uh, it's just uh, use our throttle brake again. So I believe this is using the tracks and motors to brake the train. You can just tell it's it's a bit different from what we were driving before. Uh, so it's still down now. We're using a bit of space out the way, so maybe just pull up a bit further up. Train always likes you to stop somewhere a bit further ahead, but let's just stop whenever. Get the doors open. What I can do is. And let's get some external cameras. So if we look at the train. Fancy train this, is he? Almost reminds me of a threat as well. A tick away, tick away train buggies. So it's quite cool. This train is um, not too old. Talent twos, I think they're pretty new trains. I don't know anything about these trains in Vauxhall compared to the British trains I was driving before. Uh, this is a bit, a bit like in um, New Territory. German and Nine Spence, I guess that's the station of Nine Spence, but I don't know my German, so don't comment on that. Got aircon there as well, aircon units. Let's get these doors shut, I think. On camera mode, yeah, sorry. Wait a minute, what doing? What left? Let's have a look at these doors. It's very cool, eh? And even the, even the thing actually is goes as well. So let's fill up. Let's have a look at the, the acceleration of this thing. So this is actually quite a fancy new line I'm guessing it's not an old line this is. Compare these trains with the new as the the railway is it's not that old. Even the sound of the train sounds so good as well, like that's where it's really space age. I mean this is our electric as well, we've been driving a lot of diesels in the last few videos. Compared to what we're driving then, you know, before we were driving diesels and now we're driving our, our electric. So let's get up to, I don't think we're going to go too far. Let's uh, slow down as soon as, we, as soon as we get up to it, we need to slow it down again. Because we're coming right up to our next station. Pretty much as soon as we accelerate, we need to actually put the ankles, anchors back on again. I think it's got decent brakes anyway, so I have no doubt this train will actually stop sooner and, sooner and later. 
So it's this guy that we just crawled away into the station, I guess. I think we even talking too soon, to be honest. Let me just check if we're actually all in the station. Yeah, we're fine. Even if we're not in quite in the markers, it's the, the markers don't really count anyway, so we just stop, I guess. Let's have a look inside the train again. It really cool way. Very bright as well. I think everything's quite stone, isn't it? So you've got a S band logos on them. I'm guessing this is also on that line, S band. But it's also U band, this is the underground system I believe. I know about German trains, but I don't I know some of the more of the diesel trains in Germany compared to all the the EMUs that they use. But yeah, I'm trying to figure out that train in Switzerland is called again because of this. These are uh, these talent twos are mainly so much of these Swiss trains. And the frets, I think they call them of frets. I don't know if they're pronounced that way. I'm pronouncing them as frets. Or frets, however, <laughs> the weird pronunciation name we call them. Let's get the doors locked. It's another train coming in, isn't it? Here's another one. So let's get ourselves on the go as well. AI train. Let's have a wee bit of an external, I think we'll head in. Compared to the driving before, our British trains, I mean, these trains are also like high tech, I guess, because we have quite old trains in our network. In Germany, just kind of all the new trains, and you know, we don't have any old trains at all. I'm going to be stopping again in a wee sec. Right through, right through this around the block here, the next station is. I'm going to have to bring me this. I'm going to, I'm going to have to put Matt's brakes here. This train will actually stop probably before even anyway, to be honest. Plenty of space in this platform to be honest, if I miss the stop markings, it's all that space in the west of the platform. Not bad actually. Let's open these doors again. Let's have a look, we've got to get ourselves back in the cab again eh? I can control the headlights from here as well, so you can see, you can do all that as well. Turn the beans, high beam. I don't want it put in the tail lights. Just use the D pad quite much, and you can just thing with the headlights. You can only do high tone on the controller, that's the only problem. And then you can just we we realize you just fit the reverse on the forward and neutral. You, just, you have to be quite careful what you kind of do sometimes, because you just do it in reverse by accident like that. Reverser. You just kind of have you should you should they should do a button map and you should have it doing. You should put the the controller put the you know the R three up to. Put it up for height on, and then if you want to go down, you should put it, it'll go low or something. It's, it's a bit, it's a bit miss, it's a bit, it's a bit bizarre why it's going into the reverses doing why it goes into reverse. It's a bit weird, eh? Let's get ourselves on the way again. I think we're still a bit early, but let's just shut the doors and head to our next station. Full throttle, <laughs> max power. That's what we want. Probably, probably, probably wouldn't do that. Probably when I'm driving, if we were driving our train, we wipe us. Don't we power the train way up to fuel? I don't know if to do that. That's weird. That's in the one camera here. 
to get some drivers and just get in the driver's seat again. They've got a megaphone in this train as well. We we do we didn't actually use the megaphone. Actually, we'd be cool. If there's any scenarios, just pick up the megaphone and shout shout of all the drivers. So point. Because I can feel it too. I can keep, try and get up to fuel for fuel power, but I don't think I'm going to manage that. So I think we'll just slow ourselves down again. Some of our train coming. Let's get some wee horns. <laughs> High tones only. <laughs> I just think they should have a wee way that they can actually implement road tones at the same time, but you know, the game is just a bit, a bit funny sometimes on how how things work, you know. So let's get these doors unlocked. Yes, train is fancy, blue three dashboards. Yeah, you got all these computer screens in front of you instead of, you know, analog dials. It's all digital speed speedometers. Of course, you got that. I guess that's a blind as well. One hundred, <laughs> oh, a hundred drive train blind. <laughs> that's so yeah, you could drive it like that. I think you're still doing it. But that's another way of driving the train. Let's get to the next station. So uh, it's Leipzig we're heading to. So it's just um, let's um, power ourselves up again. We're probably not going to get to 70, 75 I don't think. Yeah, the mind your fame, mind your fame, float, flits a little bit, floats, whatever you call them, these Swiss trains that are, are ticker weeds. I know the ones I think I'm talking about, but I'm just thinking, thinking if I know the ones that I can pronounce. I think, I think I know the ones, I think you know the ones that I mean. If I don't, if I know, if I don't say it in this video, I'll try and say it in the next video. A bit funny sometimes, so uh, things change sometimes. We're coming up to 50 very soon, so we better use up some um, braking. Stay or slow ourselves down. I'm coming in our station now. Probably put ourselves in here. Not feel, but guide right away, put ourselves in the station. Doesn't really have to be in the markings, though, to be honest. Not the light this time around. So on the AI train's coming in again. It's another train. And the fancy trains these are, aren't they? Yep, very fancy. I mean, these are talent too, as the member. We've got two units connected together. Got a tandem set coming in. There we stop. Wait a wee moment. Let's have a look at this unit. You got aircon there as well. Oh, what's going on? Don't know. I 
haven't, yeah. I was wanting to look at something and change this minute, but oh, thing, yeah. Yes, yeah, so, uh, you got all that detail on the train. How, how, how the model and the trains. Oh, and <laughs> the driver's seat. <laughs> That's my driver. <laughs> That's what he looks like then after all. His uniform. Let's get these doors shut. <laughs> Let's have a let's have a let's have a let's have a um, let's have a look at the driver, <laughs> the Maya train driver. Let's get ourselves up and going. That's to be quite a good good way to drive the train. Oh, I'm back out again. Hit the way in there and then back out again. There's a bit of a bug here. You can't really get the camera on very well. <laughs> And then it just does that again. I'm gonna sit on top of the chain like this. There we go. I've got a bit of slow down. Coming at our next station as soon as we get to as soon as we get up to speed we're actually coming up to our next station. This is cool, eh? This is pretty fancy. Doing my mat speaking when we underground you bit now, very lots of things. This is very cool, it's very smart. Hope we're not too early. And hope we're not not quite and hopefully we've got the train in the platform properly. Yep, we're fine. Get us the pencils. I just think this main this station's pretty pretty cool way. How this is like there, this must be like a bit of an underground bit we're going in. Got some pencils, like quite architectural designs. Yeah. Oh, where am I going? Oh, I'm outside the Axel station. Don't want to be out there. Hot doors. Let's get myself back in. Oh, I just unlocked the one door. What have I done? Lock that door. And lock that other door. I've unlocked that door. I think I think that door's still open. No, it's fine. A very cool, very cool station. I think I think there's some. I think these are great. The underground stations we're going on. So it's like pencils. Let's get ourselves in. In the tunnels now, at least. Proper kill, cool, kill, cool, kill cool tunnels. Some proper kill cool stuff here now. Eh? We're actually coming up to our next station as soon as we get here. We're actually coming up to our next stop. Let's get ourselves in properly. Just go away, fancy. Let's just put ourselves into max now. Let's have a look. A cool station there, says he. Never seen a station like this before. Very, very futuristic. Wonder who came up with the designs of these train stations. Like, see, like, just switch away and just make, make everything look like grass stained windows or something. Eh? That's what they've done. They've probably made the pop to which we put as much grass as they can. That's it, and you know. 
uh, not gonna get myself in get ourselves into the cab yeah yeah very very fancy stations very very sweet fancy it's probably as nice as the train I wanted to make these stations as nice as the trains I'm guessing in a way this is similar to Crosswell they opened up probably opened this pretty much they probably opened this as recently as Crosswell Crosswell was obviously Crosswell wasn't that old I mean I mean, obviously, I'm guessing that just opened up recently, Crossrail, and this is probably this is probably opened up a couple of years before Crossrail did. This is even fancier. Eh? This is like a wood. This is sort of more like a wooden finish now. Very cool. Oh, they want to stand. Yeah, this is very cool, yeah. I reckon I reckon they've got I reckon they did get some themes of these train stations. But every station has their own character. This is all wooden a wooden wick this time around. Yeah, I reckon in a way this probably would be somewhere to cross wheel. This is obviously a brand new a brand new line, brand new trains, you know, it's all that sort of um, it's all that sort of thing thing that's going on with this and um, this, the this then you know this trains this then ring, you know, it's pretty 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 and um, fancy. And also like the padding thing line, it's obviously not as the Great Western main line isn't as fancy as this. Have we got a lights and field bean there? I've not got them on field bean. I think it'd be better. You can see they're quite new. This tunnel looks like it's brand spanking new as well. It's, it feels like it, you can see it's kind of new. It feels like it's only opened like recently. I don't see this being an old, an old, um, you know, an old railway line. I mean, this is probably only a couple of years old. It's another nice day for my coming in as well. So not as fancy as the other ones, but it's a bit more of a general station this one looks like. I'm guessing we're going underneath the city of West Webstig at the moment and why you say at the moment this is probably this is probably like a obviously the city we're going under but you know in a way it's it's obviously like an underground also going underneath the city. I'm guessing. This is probably the actual centre of the the actual city centre where actually the actually in, but we're just underground in a way. They're quite early again. I like how they got these train signs there as well, crossing signs up there. It's cool. I mean, as I said before, in Dovetail Games, I think they do quite a good job of how they how they make the games. I mean, make all these trains. I feel like they've done a good, good job for this week as well. And train models, you know, although most of the time they do a lot of German routes as well, but you know, it's it's not always German routes. It's Various routes, American routes as well. Let's get ourselves back down again. We're actually going up a bit of an income now, so we probably will have to throttle. Actually, we will get to max now until we actually get to our speed. We're actually uh, struggling up this hill here. Four percent. We're probably. Back down again because we're going to hang there. That's the other way. We got 62 bays in. But we will be stopping again, so we're not really going to get much of speed. Let's try and get up to 62. Before we get to our next station, if we could. I 
think actually this could be the last station. Possibly. I'm not quite sure yet. Just take a time. Ah, uh, so we're going a bit fast here. That's the way. It's a bit of a big, it's a big platform anyway. So if we're just over that, it's not matter anyway. It's the matter of getting the train on the platform properly. Then, you know, the lie on the markers to get it all right sometimes. So we have a wee look again. It's free camera again. Have a look at the train. We see our driver again. <laughs> there he is. Yeah, as you can see, the weather boarding. That's what I mean about these trains. I'm guessing they got weather boarding like the, like the frets. You know what do you call them? That's actually pretty healthy, right? It's a minute healthy. <laughs> I know the trains that I'm talking about, right? so I'm going to just try and research them and try and remember the name of them in the next video. Yeah, I don't pronounce the name properly. But I know the sad way that make them, so the Swiss trains. But these ones, I'm obviously saying these aren't Swiss, they're German, obviously. Bombardier, I believe, built these trains. So the talent too, but they're built by Bombardier Transportation. So that's in Germany, I guess. That's another thing actually I should say about Bombardier. Um I'm pretty sure Bombardier was the company that built the Electro Stars and Double Stars. Am I right saying? I'm even waiting at the one doors here somehow. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Bombardier are the ones that built the Electro Star and the the ones that have built the you know. Oh that's the free cam, why am I how am I on that one? Let's go back to the driver's seat, I thought it was the light cam. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're the ones that built those trains, aren't they? I'm not entirely sure. But I believe Bombardier, they got bought over by Anst, An, is it Alston, I believe they're called, Alston, Alston, I believe they're called, that manufacture trains as well, big company, I believe they got bought over, it's apparently they're called Alston now instead of Bombardier, so I believe they got bought over by them, so obviously Bombardier don't want to get sussed I guess, might be totally wrong but Obviously, I think the name is. I still think they're still making the same trains as you know, as you know. I'm coming in a bit fast here. We're actually, I'm going. We're actually, I'm going up to. I've got a bit of speed to get up to the next station anyway, so we might as well kind of get up to, you know, 75. Not ready to go too fast, so we're still a bit of a. Anyway, we're going to go up to 100 very soon. Oh, crossing signal coming up, we're not going to go anywhere. It's going to be like the last video that I'm which we stuck behind our 166. You know, exactly the same thing. Crossing. Better slow down now, because I think we're coming to a crossing now. It's just. Don't put too much breaking on because we're still kind of a bit early. Let's go up to 100. Nah, I don't think we'll get to 100, unfortunately. Not this, not this thing. Maybe the next time, you never know. Let's uh, maybe come in a bit fast again. Everything just pops in. Spawns in a little bit. This is quite a long platform anyway, so it doesn't even matter if we stop to or we run these stop markings, you know. A massive platform, to be honest. 
So just hesitate that, you know. So we can. Yeah, so Alston, I believe they built lots of units as well. I think they're friends, Alston. Alston are friends. I was looking at a lot of these videos of these old French trains. Don't know, I thought they were quite curious of them a wee bit. They were quite. They had these really cool, you know, the, the friends, local electric local mods, they have these really cool noses on the front of them. I kind of like them a little bit. I don't know why. I think they call them CC and BB somehow, their, classic, their classification is a bit weird, friends from come with us. It's a bit some French trains on train sim, train sim world. It's a bit some nice classic friends, I like to look come with us on. It's the ones that have the wee, um, the wee, the wee, the wee, the wee, the wee, the friends will come with us that have these wee, um, um, Fronts on them, the quite the wee snouts on the front of them. I don't know what the different name of them are called, but they're really the ones that look quite, ones that look quite funny. We can head shunt. It's a bit more like a a west one move head shunt. So we're not quite there yet. We're st stopping our will case and called head shunt. I'm coming up and after still right down here, that's a 12 mile an hour. Yeah, it's still down. Just then cross the cells in. Guessing are we are we um are we uh, you know are we um we call them again. I've seen this in the last video again. Side in. We side in. We're just pulling in our side in here, I guess, and we're thinking we're just ending the train, the, I guess, the ending the route off by head shunting that, I guess. Yeah, I'm trying to think what these friends locomotives are called again. They are quite, they are quite weird, really, they are cool, these friends trains. I was looking at them on YouTube. It's nice to see how these old friends trains out. Observed. Oh, I'm not quite there yet. The mats of the bottle, one of the mats here. That's it. There we go. We're done. Din din. We're dissing back. So we're not quite there yet. But let's dissing back the train, I guess. Jump out the train, literally. <laughs> Let's finish it here, I guess. Yep, we're done. So that wasn't too bad. I think that was quite a decent journey, decent one. Yeah, so there we go. First, first one in, first one done. Rapid transit. First route done, done and dusted. So I think, uh, yeah, we'll finish this video off. I think uh, probably the next one we'll do the next week of time. Try and figure out what the next one is called. Will we just jump in? We'll just jump into that. In fact, in the next video, so we've done that one now. Metapol, and there's our next one. So, in the next video, um, we'll um, do Metapol and we'll have to transit Metapol and Ring, <laughs> which is not the London Ring, of course, but you know, it's a S band Ring. So, yeah, so hopefully, you enjoyed a bit of this. Um, more train sim world. I hope you have enjoyed more train sim world, and uh, not train sim world too, but train sim OG train sim world, of course. Um, rapid transit. And um, we're going to stick with it in the next video, um, of course. Uh, so yeah, uh, make sure to like the video, make sure to comment below, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Uh, also have playlists at the end. Check out just some of the stuff that's on the channel already. You can check out. I'll uh, have, a, have a link down below for the podcast as well, so you can check that out as well. Metal for you, for any being metal bands, that's something you want to check out then. Yeah, yeah, check that out as well. And yeah, uh, I'll catch you in the next video, so bye for now.